Hi guys, and welcome to the first Flip It Friday in Just Do It June. And Flip It Fridays are going to be kind of taking a break from beauty videos and hauls and those sort of things and delving into more hands-on practical things. Now, since this is a beauty channel, I will still try to make it accessible to people who would be watching beauty channels, um, girls, women, beauty gurus, makeup artists, etc. Um, not really just going on to like how to build a birdhouse because I'm pretty sure people would exit out of that before they even started watching the video. So this is going to be sort of like a flip it from horrible cluttered mess to neat, tidy, accessible. And so I will be showing you guys some tips and tricks um, on organizing a makeup area so you can take your makeup area from this to this. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it. So this is actually my beauty space and my office space, which in a limited space as I do have since I'm living at my parents and I only own one room that's mine, this is very, it works out very well for what I need. However, it does not work well if it's messy, cluttered, or just plain not organized. What I mean by not organized, messy office space, even messier beauty space, and overfilled beauty containers. So I'm going to take all of that and just clear it away. So I am going to begin on the office side of my desk, which is the right side next to my bed. So as you can see, I have a pretty large drawer space right here. I'm just not using it to its ultimate, ultimate, optimal, optimal ability. So we have the drawer space, that is not a problem, it is what we do with it now that's the issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going, that's my leg by the way, sorry, is I'm going to begin to look at the things that I absolutely grab for the most whilst I'm doing any sort of project. Thing like that. I'll go through the papers at the same time. So that's generally put into the areas that I will need them for, so now it's just making them look pretty. There you go. So already that side looks very, very nice. So the next area are pieces of information I don't necessarily want to throw away. I still want and I need it sort of on a regular basis enough that I don't want to put it into deep storage. So what I'm going to do is just grab a file folding system, not this red one, this blue one, there we go. Um, just to keep it kind of in one book and not just loose leaf papers. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna split this off into sides. So one side's gonna be just kind of like information for the future, other side's gonna be information for what I'm doing right now, so like YouTube. So that is YouTube information. Thank you. 
you are all done with that. That is paper. You do not need to focus on that. So the next area is in fact my makeup area. And as you can see, it needs a little or a lot of TLC. So I am going to get started and hopefully do this in a manageable time. So here are things that I may not actually use every day, so I will be going through them as well. Um, but just to get started, if you kind of take a look at the shape of the shelf, and then the products that you're going to be putting in it, so this is going to be like eyeshadows, bronzers, blushes, etc. I'll need some compartment organizers. So I have this, but that takes up like the entire shelf area. So what I'm going to do is I have a box right here. Hey, there's me. I have a box right here, um, well a box bottom, that will take up like a section of the area, so that's handy. And I have one of my old flat iron boxes, which is very nice and rectangular that I can put here that can hold eyeshadows. So now that I know that, I will start sorting. Okay, so that looks pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um, we can move things around in there a, a little bit later, but now I guess you're wondering what happens to all this crap. Well, we're going to get to that. So just close up this drawer for now. Now, this has a very, very good principle. And I had a good idea when starting it, but as you can see, it's gotten a little bit over cluttered. So we are going to deplete it and organize it. So I am going to be using this bad boy right here. And I picked this clear plastic organizer up from, I think the container store. Um, and yes, I live in Canada and yes, I found a container store. I used to think they were non-existent, but they're actually here. So I'm going to put this sort of backed away, see I need to organize my this is crap. Backed away in this little corner diagonal to give me optimal space over there. The way that I have it organized, sort of, is that I have my three most used foundations, my highlighter and or concealer, so I can put some, actually my concealers, sort of, in there. I have eyebrow utensils I don't use all the time, but I use a lot, sort of. And I have my L'Oreal lip caresses, so things I use a lot, but they're not entirely lipsticks. Two lip glosses, but are lip stains as well. My Shine lip, lip sticks matte lipsticks, and two very, very bright fuchsia lipsticks. Now I'm gonna continue filling this with just everyday essentials. See, this, um, I do use all of these. I know it doesn't look like I would, but I do. So I'm actually gonna leave that like that. This is a lot more organized than it used to be. So I can go ahead and put that back on the shelf. And as of for these products right here, these are just some eyeliners that I use sometimes. They're stuck in this bin with creams that I do not need that to be there. I can grab this little dish right here that I have filled with these cute little rocks, just to make it a bit higher. And voila, you can see everything, grab what you want, put it right beside here so it's easy access. 
and just nitpick how you will and and in just a few simple minutes you can end up with an office space and beauty space like this okay so i hope you guys enjoyed the first flip it friday of just do it june um the next episode will come next friday the next flip it friday will but the next youtube video will come either on sunday or on tuesday so i hope you guys enjoy this new schedule for filming and i will talk to you guys soon love you guys